Today I have 20 tips to make your launch into space marauding hopefully a little less painful. So number one, familiarize yourself with your ship's layout. Know where the engine room is, know where the fire extinguishers are, know where the drop pods are, and know where the airlock is. That way you have less of a chance of being caught off guard if you need to do something quickly. Tip number two, now I know this might seem basic, but this is for beginner players and marauders. You can extract through the warp gates at the edge of space. Each map has two warp gates, or at least from what I've seen. So all you have to do is go towards the edge of space, find a warp gate and extract. Tip number three, if you run out of money, the rust bucket always has loot on board, and you can also take the fire extinguishers out for easy money. So if you're completely broke, just spawn in the rust bucket, grab all the loot that's on the main deck, so a handgun, ammo, and a vest, and then you can go downstairs and grab a fire extinguisher or two, and then just sell those for a little bit of cash. Tip number four is always note your dock information when you dock in a space station. You really don't want to be running around the map looking for where you parked your ship and trying out all the different terminals with your key card when you're running out of oxygen and you gotta get out like ASAP. So just make a quick mental note of which one it is. Tip number five, so you can split stacks by dragging an item to an empty slot, pressing and holding control and then letting go of the item that will allow you to split stacks however you see fit. Alt plus left click drops an item and control plus left click transfers an item to your inventory in game. This unfortunately doesn't work in the menus, at least for the transfer part. Tip number six, captain cards picked up off enemies allow you to steal their ship. You do however need to equip the card in your card slot and if your captain dies, you need to make sure you grab that card because you will not be able to open the terminal without his captain's key card because there's only one card per crew and it's the captain that has it. If you can't find your docked ship, there are drop pods around every map, albeit I haven't found it on the prison yet, and uh, for some reason my dumb brain can't think of where they are on the mine map, but they are on every map, so you can just use those to extract if you can't find your ship or you're too far away. Tip number eight, drop pods can be used more than once, so don't worry if your friend jumps into a drop pod before you, you can just use the same one right after. And there was a bug, I don't know if it still happens, but you can actually use a drop pod that somebody's getting into and it'll just do the animation quicker because once that person is actually in and launching, you will also launch. But I just wanted to mention it real quick. Tip number nine, when you're doing the animation to get into a drop pod, you can use a healing item. I would imagine this will get fixed in the future because we now have animations when using health and food items, but as of right now, you can heal and eat while getting into a drop pod. Tip number 10 is in regards to the health and stamina bars. So in the bottom right hand corner, your health bar is green and your stamina bar is blue. So the more you run around, the more your stamina depletes. And once that bar starts filling up with white, then your maximum stamina you can have starts to get lower and lower. All you need to do to remove that white part that reduces your maximum stamina is eat food. Now for the health, every time you take damage, your maximum health goes down, same thing, it starts filling up with white. What you can do to get rid of that health that you can't technically get back is you need to use painkillers. So methamphetamine or morphine or aspirin will remove that white part, allowing you to go back up to 100% health. Tip number 11, folding backpacks allows you to put them in containers or your backpack. But to fold the bag, it has to be empty. Tip number 12, if you're running low on storage, you can use a ship you built or stole as extra storage. All you have to do is go to your hangar, set that ship as your active ship, put stuff in it. Just make sure that you go back to the ship that you're not using as extra storage before going out on a mission. Otherwise, you might be disappointed if you get killed and somebody steals that ship with all your good loot that you had in its storage. Tip number 13, grenades and AP mines equip in your pistol slot. So just throw them in your pistol slot, hit whatever key you have associated to that, and you'll be able to take out your grenade, flashbang, smoke grenades, or AP mines and use them. Tip number 14, before selling items, go to the crafting tab, click and hold, and you can see what the item can give you if scrapped. Sometimes it's more valuable to actually scrap an item than it is to sell because crafting materials are probably some of the most important items you can get in Marauders. Tip number 15, certain pieces of chest armor have pouches on them that give you extra inventory space. However, just be aware that these armor pieces cannot be put into backpacks. Tip number 16, certain weapons have attachments available to them, such as stocks, extended magazines, suppressors. There's two ways you can actually mod the weapons. You go to the weapon tab, click on the weapon, then equip the modification you want on that weapon. The weapon that you have in your hand will have a little green tab on it to show you which one it is. But the easier way of doing this is in your stash or gear menu, just 
take the modification, drag and drop it onto the weapon you want, and it's as simple as that. Tip number 17, synthetic scrap is probably one of the most important items to get early game and even late game as bandages can be hard to come by. So stock up on them as much as you can. And really the same can be said for most other crafting materials because they're just so damn valuable for the crafting system in this game. Tip number 18, lockpicks are pretty useful and you can find very good gear behind locked rooms and locked safes or locked storage containers around maps. So I would strongly suggest bringing at least one in every raid. They're pretty cheap to craft and they only take a single inventory slot. Tip number 19, you can utilize meds and food by right clicking on it and hitting use or dragging and dropping on your character in the inventory screen. So whichever you feel most comfortable with, just know that there is uh, arguably a quicker way of doing it than hitting right click than use. You can just drag and drop onto your character. And finally, tip number 20, breaching a ship causes you to take damage and you take even more damage if you boost just before breaching. So make sure that as soon as you spawn in the ship, you heal up because even if that little bit of health you're missing doesn't seem like much, it can make a world of difference and might mean that you live instead of die. But that's it for my 20 tips for beginners in Marauders. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.